Hello, and welcome to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Today, we have a, another tar amps on the bench. Uh, and I just really want to point something out on this particular amplifier. Um, I do a lot of repair work uh, for a company that does a lot of selling for Amazon. So I see a lot of Amazon returns. And it really is interesting, uh, the people that return amplifiers. Uh, they return them for reasons, um, either if, in my opinion, from a lack of knowledge. So this is the uh, Chipio. I don't know how you pronounce that. This is a 20,000 watt amplifier. And uh, I just wanted to go over today on the uh, requirements for this 20,000 watt amplifier. Hold on, let me, I'm just uh, turning off my autofocus here. Okay, I just wanna go over the requirements for this 20,000 watt amplifier. And it's amazing how many of these I get in. So I have currently, hold on, let me count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten of these piled up right now that I need to get done. Now this is ten out of, oh gosh, I probably have 70 or so amplifiers. Oh, I'll be right back. All right, as I was saying, I've got ten of these that uh, are in for warranty I repair. It's more or less a warranty check for these. Um, but I think people are, are they're, I don't know if they're just misled or they just don't know, but you're not going to get 20,000 watts, let me get a tape measure, you're not going to get 20,000 watts out of a 14 inch amplifier. Okay, not going to happen. Right there, right there. That's a crescendo, it's Korean board, so apples to oranges, but that's a 17K board. That's the power supply section. You could fit this amp in that power supply. And that's 17K. So right off the bat, you have to be at least somewhat self-aware that this doesn't make 20,000 watts. It can, but you're not gonna be able to hook this up to your car, plug it in, turn on the power and have 20,000 watts. That's not what this is. This says HV high voltage, 20,000 watts arm, or is this 20,000 watts? This is maximum, okay. Uh, 20,000 watts peak basically. High voltage, this is key. This term right here. So let me help explain why I am recording this video. This amplifier needs about, oh, 13 batteries in series to run. I think uh, you'd have to look up on the Taramps uh, website. I think these are something like 160 odd volts, 130 odd volts DC uh, input power. So let me show you why. Let me show you why this doesn't make 20,000 watts. And there's just a few tools here that I need to diagnose this. These are so simple. Oh, and then the phone rings. Hold on. Be right back with you. All right. Let's try this again. Sorry, phone calls. Um, as a business, if you ever own a business, please, uh, hold on, expect you're going to get phone calls, and a lot of them. Um, I have two different phones, um, yeah, and for anyone that calls, and if, if you call, and you want to talk to me, and I don't answer, and you don't leave a voicemail, I, will, I won't call you back. You have to leave a voicemail. Oh, what was I doing? Okay, sorry, I have to regain my train of thought here on what I was talking about. The amplifier. Okay. Oh, I think, I guess I just pulled the cover off for you guys. So this is the amplifier. This is 
only an output section. That's it. There is no power supply. As you can see, it's missing. Uh, so, I mean, realistically, there is a way you can, of course, test these without the high voltage. But uh, I'm thinking the number one reason why these get returned is because people buy these thinking they're going to spend a couple hundred dollars for 20,000 watts, hook it up, and then it doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work because it doesn't see the 160 whatever volts it needs to run. Um, there's a set of resistors right here uh, that tell the PIC what the voltage is. And if the PIC doesn't see what you know, the proper voltage, it will shut down or it won't even start. Uh, but yeah, to, just to let everyone know, there's no power supply here. You need uh, roughly 13 batteries in series to run this. I am, and if you look again on Taramp's uh, website, you will see that uh, it lists. I think it lists the number of batteries minimum or minimum voltage. Um, so you have to give this the proper voltage. Otherwise, you're going to return it, and then it's going to end up here. And then I'm going to pull the cover. I'm going to make sure nothing's damaged and send it back. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick on how you go about testing these without high voltage. You can test these with 12 volts. You just need a couple tools. You need a 10 millimeter or a, yeah, 10, a T10 screwdriver. Uh, you need power supply. You need a scope. Um, and right off camera here, just a little bit right here, you need some input signal, a little remote lead. Uh, and within this amplifier, there is a little section here called test 12.6 volts DC. What you're going to do is you're going to jump it. Hard to see because I'm halfway blind. You're going to jump that. You're going to hook up your power. Just like that, and then you're gonna fire up the remote. Oh, hold on, because I, I gotta give it an input signal here. It has an input and an output, so just remember that, guys. It's only got one RCA jack, you only need one. I'm gonna hook up my remote wire, blue light comes on fans come on sorry it's going to be a little bit noisy with the fans check the low side perfect check the high side perfect the low side and the high side and then the speaker output there it is look perfection i have yet to have to do here hold on let me turn the fans off I have yet to do any repairs on one of these. They always come back perfectly fine, which tells me people are buying these thinking they can just hook them up to their car and have a 20,000 watt amplifier. Incorrect, not gonna happen. And yeah, sorry guys, the scope is not on the screen. Um, I can't run this camera this camera and the scope at the same time without this uh, picture all glitching out on you but it does have an input signal it does have slow side low side switching high side switching and it does have the output but of course fine and that's it that's what it takes to test these so then you have to remember to remove the uh, jumper so I just do the same thing. I just take my desoldering tool with a little bit of wick there and just pull that solder blob up, which puts it back into high voltage mode. And that is all it takes to test one of these 20,000 watt amplifiers. So guys, you need the proper voltage. You need a battery bank hundred and some odd volts look it up on tarab's website hooked up to this for this to function 
because obviously there's no power supply. So I do thank you guys for watching. If you uh, like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below. I will get to you as soon as I can. You can always email me. Uh, you can find me at www.ellensburgamplifier.com, uh, my website. If you have any questions, I'm always more than happy to help. And uh, as I always say, stay safe. Keep your fingers out of the rails, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.